we decided, or that I should say the Pontiac Club decided to dispense with individual classes and rather instead do it on a top picks format. So they decided to take the total number of trophies and figure them on percentages based on how many Oldsmobiles, how many Buicks, how many Pontiacs showed up for the event today. Uh, what it worked out to was about a dozen top pick awards for Oldsmobile, about a dozen picks for Buick, and about, about two dozen, just short of two dozen picks for Pontiac. That's about the percentages of vehicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through the list, and I'm going to give you your top picks. And these are not hierarchy, they are simply all equal top picks. Not to say one is better than another within the top picks category. I'm going to start you out with, let me see, what am I going to start out with? Hold on a second here. Where's the first page on this thing? There we go. Okay, we're going to start you out with top picks in uh, Oldsmobiles. So when I call your name, we're going to ask you to come up to your thunderous applause, accept your trophy from our presence, uh, and take it home and show it proudly to everybody in the neighborhood. The first of our top dozen or so picks in Oldsmobile, we would like to congratulate today one of our younger participants. Congratulations to Kyle Genesee from Cumberland with that 57 Olds 98. The gold Olds. And we raise that Kyle to take our first award for the 2011 show, one of our top Oldsmobile picks. Congratulations. All right, my next Oldsmobile pick on the list. We're going to go, if we can, over to Street Rodville and head down to West Greenwich, Rhode Island. Dennis O'Malley with the 1940 Olds Street Rod over there. 1940 Olds Coupe. That's Dennis O'Malley coming this way to take a top pick for Oldsmobile. What a great addition it's been, by the way, this year to the show, to have Oldsmobile and Buick uh, join us with our Pontiac Oakland GMC show. It's been a great turnout for 2011. And as the club, and uh, Chris said, we'd love to be able to see this become a, an annual event right here at to the Hurt Auto Mall. As Mr. O'Malley with a big old winning smile, and we'll take you to the next Oldsmobile pick. Do me a favor, Bob. Could you get me a pen? I don't want to miss anybody on this list. Uh, we'll take you to our next Oldsmobile pick, and that will be... There we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. Next Oldsmobile pick would be... Mark Barabella from Weymouth, Mass. with the 64 Old Starfire. That's the Burgundy, 1964 Old Starfire for the NT64 Mass plates. And that's Mark to take his award right now. Congratulations. Thanks for coming down to join us all the way down from Weymouth, Massachusetts. All right, who's next on my list here? I see. I see. All right, you do that. I see a mouthful of a name. I'm hoping I'm going to get this one right. Um, congratulations to William Okerholm from Warwick, 1971 Old Cutlass. 1971 Old Cutlass. Bill. How's that last name pronounced, Bill? It is Okerholm. All right, I was reading it correctly. That's another top hit for 2011 in the old category. Uh, next up on my Oldsmobile list, congratulations to Paul Menard from North Smithfield with the yellow 69 Olds 442. 1969 Olds 442. And of course, we'll check with the old guy. And 442 stands for? A big engine. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mr. Menard will tell you, yeah, what's that? Four barrel, uh, four exhaust pipes, and... Uh, Two sets of points. I know. Four barrel, four speed, and dual exhaust. That's 442, and that is another old top pick. Congratulations to you, Paul. All right, next top pick on my Oldsmobile list is Scott Morell from Hopedale, Mass., for the 1970 Cutlass W30. 1970 Olds W30. They came all the way today to join us from Hopedale, Mass. Congratulations to Scott Morell. Hopefully Mr. M is still here with us today with the vehicle on display. On this way? Oh, what? There you go. There you go. Oh, it's a, a winner's run is what it is. He doesn't want somebody else to get his trophy. Good job. Congratulations. And by the way, I did mention earlier, I'll mention again, if you love General Motors and you'd like to switch over to uh, Corvette for tomorrow, I'm hosting the uh, 41st Annual Corvette Show down in South Kingstown. We'd love to see you there. All right, what's on the way next on my list here? I see... I see. What do I see here? Uh, congratulations to Al Medeiros from Cumberland with a 1972 Olds Cutlass. 1972 Cutlass, Al Medeiros, another top pick winner among Oldsmobiles for this year's 2011 show. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit of a climb, uh, so if you need to uh, grab a Hummer, 
Uh, they have a few available out front. Grab one, come right up the hill. There is a top old stick winner. Congratulations, D. Well. And I see more Oldsmobiles on my list. Next up, we're going to give a top pick award with congratulations to Bob Hughes from Framingham, Mass. 1984 Hearst Olds. 1984 Olds with the Hearst kit. That's a top pick among Oldsmobiles for 2011 here at the Heard Auto Mall. And we'll get set to move on. So what else do I I've got a couple of more Oldsmobile picks here on the list that I'm going to need to move on to. Bob Hughes, and we'll set that aside for him if we must. We'll move next to, oh, this is, this is a sweetheart. Boy, did this turn heads when it came to the lot or around uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Congratulations to Ken Tracy from Warwick with the white 57 Olds convertible. 1957 Olds convertible, the white one with the blue. Beautiful 57 taking a top old for the old pick. All right, on the way next, we'll give you another top old for the old pick. To Greg Clark out of Worcester, Massachusetts, 1960. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, that's that's a Pontiac, and it's listed here as an old. So I'll just let you know that this uh, Pontiac has won a top old pick. So congratulations to Greg Clark. I uh, they switch their O's and their P's. We're not going to take it away from you. Congratulations. That's a little 62 Tempest Le Mans against the back row. Shame on you. All right. There's the top pick winner. Congratulations. And tomorrow morning, no, Monday morning when he gets up, you know, Worcester, what's the first radio station to put on? He better put on the pipe or I'll take that trophy back. Uh, next up, I have another old top pick for you. And this one would be Joe Camara with a 69 first goals. 1969 first goals. Joe Camara. For the sake of one letter at the end of his name, he's not a Chevy guy. Mr. Camara, congratulations to you. That's a top old mobile pick for that 69. And I think I'm going to move you on now if I can to the...